9th standard geometry the first chapter name is basic concepts in geometry for doing exercise number 1.1 we need to understand about number line now this i have drawn a line over here in between we have a origin denoted by o the coordinate of the origin o is 0 on the right hand side we have positive coordinates 1 2 3 4 5 on the left side we have negative coordinates minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 for each of these points let us name them see this point is a b c d e this point is p q r and s so i can say that the coordinate of point B is 2, the coordinate of point Q is minus 2, the coordinate of point E is 5. Now, minus 4, minus 4 is the coordinate of which point S, 3 is the coordinate of which point C. Origin denoted by O has the coordinate 0. Exercise number 1.1, first question find the distance with the help of the number line given below we have to find out first distance b a we will write the coordinate of point b b coordinate is 2 and e coordinate is 5 so distance b a will be found out by using the formula higher coordinate minus lower coordinate higher coordinate minus lower coordinate now here the higher coordinate is 5 lower coordinate is 2 so 5 minus 2 will be 3 units distance be is equal to 3 units in sum we have to find out distance j a j coordinate is minus 2 a coordinate is 1 here we know that 1 is greater than minus 2. So distance j a will be found out again by the same formula higher coordinate minus lower coordinate. 1 minus minus 2 which will become 1 plus 2 and that is equal to 3 units. Third sum distance p c we have to find out. Coordinate of p is minus 4 coordinate of point c is a 3 your 3 is greater than minus 4 therefore distance pc will be again found out by using the formula higher coordinate minus lower coordinate 3 minus minus 4 which will become 3 plus 4 7 units in the fourth sum distance gh is supposed to be found out the coordinate of point J is minus 2. The coordinate of point H is minus 1. Now here which is the greater number? Minus 1 is greater. Minus 1 is greater than minus 2. Distance J H will be found out again by using the same formula. Higher coordinate minus lower coordinate. Minus 1 minus minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 which will become 1 unit. Fifth sum, distance KO is equal to question mark. The coordinate of point K is minus 3. The coordinate of point O is 0. Here we know that 0 is greater than minus 3. Therefore, the distance KO is equal to higher coordinate minus lower coordinate. 0 minus minus 3, 0 plus 3, which will become 3 units. Similarly, you can do sum number 6th, 7th and 8th by using the same formula. Distance is equal to higher coordinate minus lower coordinate. In the second question, if the coordinate of A is X and the coordinate of B is Y, find distance AB. In each of these given sums, coordinate of a is given x and coordinate of b is given y so according to that in the first sum a coordinate will be 1 and b coordinate will be 7 here we know that 7 is greater than 1 
Therefore, to find out distance AB, we will use the same formula, higher coordinate minus lower coordinate, 7 minus 1, 6 units. In the second sum, coordinate of A is 6, coordinate of B is minus 2. 6 is greater than minus 2. Distance AB will be found out by using the same formula, higher coordinate minus lower coordinate, 6 minus minus 2, 6 plus 2, and that will become 8, 8 units. In the third sum, coordinate of A is minus 3, coordinate of B is 7, 7 is greater than minus 3. So, distance AB will be found out by using the formula higher coordinate minus lower coordinate, 7 minus minus 3, 7 plus 3, and that is 10 units. In the fourth sum, coordinate of A is minus 4, coordinate of B is minus 5. Minus 4 is greater than minus 5. Distance AB will become higher coordinate minus lower coordinate. Minus 4 minus minus 5. Minus 4 minus minus will become plus and minus 4 plus 5 is equal to 1 unit. Similarly, we can do sum number 5th and 6th by using the same formula higher coordinate minus lower coordinate. In the third question, three distances are given between the points P, Q and R. We have to find out which point is between the other two. Distance P, R is given 7, distance P, Q is given 10 and uh, distance P, Q, R is given 3. We have to find out which point is between the other two. The idea is we will add the two smaller distance. The two smaller distance are distance P, R and distance Q, R. Distance P, R plus distance Q, R is equal to 7 plus 3 which is equal to 10 and this 10 is equal to distance P Q therefore we can say that points P Q R are collinear and point R is between P and Q because R is common in these two small distances in the second sum Distance RS is equal to 8, distance ST is equal to 6, distance RT is equal to 4. Here we have to find out which point is between the other two. So the idea is we will add the two smaller distances. The two smaller distances are distance ST and distance RT. Let's add them. Distance ST plus distance RT is equal to 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. And the third distance is 8. And the third distance is 8, which is not equal to distance RS. After adding the two smaller distances, it is not equal to the third bigger distance. Therefore, the given points are not collinear. Similarly, we can do some number 4th, 5th and 6th. In sum number 4, on a number line, three points A, B, C are given and three distances are also given. Distance A, C is equal to 10, distance C, B is equal to 8, distance A, B is supposed to be found out. Now here, three possibilities can be considered. First possibility is that point C is between a and B. The first possibility is that point C is between A and B. If we consider this first possibility, point C is between A and B, uh, drawn the figure over here showing their positions, distance AC is equal to 10, distance CB is equal to 8. So distance AB will be found out by addition of distance AC and distance CB. Distance AB is equal to distance AC plus distance CB is equal to 10 plus 8 
which will become 18 units second possibility is that second possibility is that point b is between a and c if point b is between a and c then the figure will be point a is over here point c is in the other end and somewhere in between point b lies somewhere in between point b lies distance cb is given 8 entire distance ac is given 10 and we are supposed to find out distance ab so what we will do is the same thing distance ab plus distance bc is equal to distance ac distance ab plus distance bc is equal to distance ac distance ab is to be found out distance bc is 8 distance ac is entirely 10 so distance ab will become 10 minus 8 which will become 2 units the third possibility is that point a is between c and b so let's find out according to this third possibility let us find out distance a b so c and b is in the extreme and that entire distance is given 8 point a is somewhere in between and that is how much 10 now let's find out distance ab distance ac plus distance ab is equal to distance cb 10 plus distance ab is equal to 8 distance ab will become 8 minus 10 and that is minus 2 units now remember one thing distance cannot be negative distance cannot be negative therefore we discard this possibility in sum number five again they have given us three points three collinear points x y and z out of which distance x y is given 17 distance y z is given 8 and we have to find out distance x z using all the possibilities the first possibility we consider is x dash y dash z means y is between x and z so according to that the figure will be drawn like this points x and z are in the extreme and point y is somewhere in between point y is somewhere in between distance x y is 17 distance y z is 8 and we have to find out this entire distance x z so distance x y plus distance y z is equal to distance x z distance x y 17 distance y z is 8 is equal to distance x z we are supposed to find out therefore distance x z will become after adding this two distance x z will become 25 units second possibility we take as x dash z dash y that means we will consider point z is between x and y so according to that figure will be drawn like this points x and y is in the extreme and that distance is 17 point z is somewhere in between and distance y z is given 8 we are supposed to find out distance x z so according to this situation distance x z plus distance y z is equal to distance x y distance x z plus 8 is equal to 17 distance x z will become 17 minus 8 plus 8 will go on the other side it will become minus 8 and that will be 9 units in the sixth question we have to sketch proper figure and write the answer of the following questions first one it is given a dash b dash z c means b is between a and c length ac is equal to 11 length bc is equal to 6.5 length ab we are supposed to find out because it is given b is between a and c so according to that we draw the figure point a is in the extreme point c is in the extreme 
the distance between them is 11 point b is somewhere in between length bc is given 6.5 and we are supposed to find out length ab now using this information using this figure we can write this relation length ab plus length bc is equal to length ac length ab is supposed to be found out plus 6.5 is equal to 11 length ab is equal to 11 minus 6.5 and that will become 4.5 units in the second sum it is given r dash s dash t means point s is between r and t length st is given 3.7 length rs is given 2.5 and we are supposed to find out length rt to show this information we draw over here a figure point r and t is in the extreme length rt we are supposed to find out point s is somewhere in between length st is given 3.7 length rs is given 2.5 now because length rs is smaller so we put the position of point s also somewhere near point r because that is a smaller distance and st is a bigger distance length rs plus length st is equal to length rt length rs is 2.5 plus 3.7 length st 3.7 is equal to length rt therefore length rt will become after addition of this two you will get 6.2 units in the third sum it is given x dash y dash z which means point y is between points x and z length xz is equal to 3 root 7 length xy is equal to root 7 and we are supposed to find out length yz we draw a figure showing this information points x and z is in the extreme and that length is 3 root 7 units point y is somewhere in between x and z length x y is given root 7 we are supposed to find out length y z so here we have length x y plus length y z length x y plus length y z is equal to length xz root 7 plus length yz is equal to 3 root 7 so length yz will become 3 root 7 minus root 7 plus root 7 will go on the other side it will become minus root 7 which will become 2 root 7 units 3 minus 1 2 root 7 units in the seventh question we have which figure is formed by three non-collinear points? Suppose we take the three non-collinear points as A, B and C. The points which are not in a straight line are called as non-collinear points. Here points A, B, C are non-collinear and the figure so formed if you join points A and B, B and C, A and C, then a triangle ABC is formed by joining these three non collinear points A, B, and C. In the next video, we will be solving exercise number 1.2.